Hello friends. Welcome to Dynamic Damsel Duo. I'm Just April, and today we get to talk about a very special topic, which is near and dear to Cammie and I's hearts because we are both English majors. We're going to talk about Edgar Allan Poe. Specifically, which is his best story. I'm super excited about this because Edgar Allan Poe is everything that I model my writing after. So I'm super stoked and I was really excited when Cam Cammie was like, can we talk about lit this week? And I was like, Ugh, lit. I just got done with school. I just graduated. Um, I had this really shout out to Kathy Madsen. Uh, she got me this super cute mug for my graduation. So that's really cool. Um, but so as I said, Cammy and I are both English majors. So um, I've spent the last four years of my life doing nothing but like reading mostly really old stuff. And I was like, oh, I don't want to have to read anything. I really hope that Cammy wants to talk about something that I've already done. And she did. Um, she wants to talk about what his what Edgar Allan Poe's best story is and I could not have been happier because I love I love me some Poe um anytime that I have to like I had to teach poetry for my teaching classes I was teaching the raven so much so that um everybody just kind of knew it by the end so that was fun um but uh yeah, so we're going to talk about what his best story is. Now, I know what Cammie picked, and I'm not going to watch her video prior because I screwed that up last week. Um, so I know what she picked, and I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, other than I want her to know that I was a little upset because The Simpsons did it, and I would have really liked to talk about that one because The Simpsons did it, but that's okay. Um, so what I'm going to talk about instead is a is a story that um, the Masters of Horror series turned into a movie and it was amazing because it's like a short film like it's not like a feature film movie um, it had a lot of really cool like practical effects um, the part that gets really gruesome was really well done and like they tried not to make it look like super realistic which I thought was interesting and I thought it was super cool because he's going insane and nothing needs to be realistic whatsoever so um, we're gonna jump into the black cat. Um, so the black cat is by far the best and my favorite one. Um, because he, I mean, it's just this beautiful delve into insanity and I can hardly believe it. Um, it's so fun to watch. It is, um, super fun to read. We actually had to read it in my senior seminar class and I flipped shit and everybody very quickly, that was like one of the first days and everybody very quickly realized that if we were going to read something that I liked, I was going to go absolutely insane and, uh, be really annoying about it. So <laughs> here I am being really annoying about it again. Um, but for those of you who don't know, the black cat is about Edgar Allan Poe. Presumably he never gives like the narrator a name. Um, but the guy is a writer and he's found a little bit of success and he is trying to continue on with that success But he's like slowly going insane because he like can't work and he's a drunk and he is suffering from alcoholism and um, His life is just kind of going down the tubes because he can't handle the world around him. So he starts going absolutely cuckoo bananas um, His wife gets this cat and the cat, um, like, isn't even doing it. It's just being a cat. Like, bruh, calm down. It's just being a cat. And this guy goes bonkers because it's being a cat. Like, it's jumping all of, the, all of his shit. And it's, like, getting up on the tables and stuff. And really, it's, it's a new cat. Stop being lazy and train the damn cat. But he doesn't take the time to train the cat. Um... He's got a bird that he really likes, and the cat keeps trying to eat the bird. And I really hope I'm remembering this correctly. I didn't read it again before talking about this. But anyway, so um, Edgar Allan Poe, the narrator, I'm just going to say that it's Edgar Allan Poe, he ends up um, pulling the cat's eye out. And then um, he, like, 
thinks that it like ran away and then it comes back though and it just doesn't have its eye and the wife's like what the fuck happened to our cat where is its eye and he's just like oh it probably got in a fight like oh that stuff happens so now they've just got this one-eyed cat and now the one-eyed cat is like super fucking pissed at Edgar Allan Poe and just keeps driving him crazy and Edgar Allan Poe is like losing his mind like none of this is logical none of it makes any sense for him to be reacting the way that he does um, none of it is good. Um, so I'm trying to like cut out certain things that I'm like not 100% sure on the details. So hopefully that works. Um, but so he ends up hanging the cat and um, he buries the cat and he's like, fuck, my wife's going to be super pissed. And the wife is like visibly upset. She's like, where the hell is my cat? And oh, BT dubs, she's dying of tuberculosis. Like, and he's still being an ass about her cat. Um, won't let her have like the one happiness just cause he's going insane. And that's an added stress is that his wife's dying and he like doesn't know how to cope. So then he drinks and then he goes crazy and then, and then, then he stops writing and then they don't have any money. And then she's like dying because they can't just, you know, she's gonna die because it's like 18 something and she's got TB. So she's gonna die. Um, so he hangs the cat and then the, it buries it. And then the cat fucking comes back and it's got like a little white, like straight, like coloring around its neck where the noose was. Fucking ghost cat. Um, so then like all this stuff happens the he keeps going like steadily and steadily insane his wife's dying she's fighting with him about this cat um like to cut out the middleman he fucking kills her he like in the movie it's super cool because he like takes it they're like in the basement and he takes an axe and just like busts it right down her dome piece and it's just like it goes like right down the middle of her face and it's super it's and that's like the part where it's kind of like cartoony looking almost and I don't think they tried super hard to make it like really realistic but then that plays into his like absolute insanity like oh my god I'm just losing my mind um and I've spent all of my time I just whatever whatever it's good trust me um so he puts her in the wall he like there's like this they've got brick walls and there's like space behind the brick walls he breaks her into this wall and just like leaves her there and he's like fuck i don't know what to do i'm just gonna go on with my life uh the police come to his house because people were like god they're like screaming go see what's up and he's like nope not us mm -mm. Mm -mm. definitely don't go check in the basement don't go down there nope not down there. So then they're like, well, you're weird. Like, we're going to go check down there. Um, and he's like, there's nothing. And all they see is like the morded up wall. Like, they're like, oh, did you? And he's like, yeah, I recently, uh, there was a hole. But um, I recently, like super recently, like within the last 20 minutes recently, um, boarded it up. So it's, we're all good. I don't know what they're talking about. My wife is away. She is sick. So she was sent away. And don't worry about it. And then they're like going to leave. And there's a meowing sound from behind the wall. And the police are like, dude, I think you like bolted your, I think you like bricked up your cat. And he's like, no, 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 I don't care, whatever. And then the cops take apart the wall and find the wife and yep. black cat. That's all the time I have for this. Believe it or not, it's nine minutes and my computer doesn't edit as well as Cammy's does. So I have to film all of these in one shot. So um, thank you so much for watching my near, my just description of the black cat. Um, hopefully, maybe Cammy will have some other stuff to say. I have some stuff to say about hers. Maybe if she like didn't touch on some stuff, I really hope that Cammy's went similarly. Um, it's just, it's just cool. Just trust me. Read it. It's super great. It's one of those things that'll take you like 10 minutes, I promise. Um, there's a shit ton of... You can watch the movie. It's like half an hour long. You can watch the... Um, like, there's people on YouTube who read it. 
I'm not going to do that because I can't read out loud very well, says the English teacher. But um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for the support that you've given us so far. Um, hopefully you like Cammy's video too. Uh, we will have responses on Tuesday, so that'll be fun. Okay, uh, thanks so much. Bye!